Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Squaw Valley in Lake Tahoe. As you can see behind me, the uh, reflection of the run that's right in front of me. And um, you know, I just want to talk to you tonight about speaking your truth. And this has been a real important lesson for me on my journey. And so I just wanted to share a little bit about it. So basically, I'm realizing that most of my life I've had a hard time first recognizing what my truth is. Like let's say something happens and I don't feel good about it. Well instead of acknowledging that, I may um, just go, oh it's okay, or oh I shouldn't feel that way about it. So I, I would kind of deny my feelings. And um, so of course I was never speaking my truth because I wasn't really even acknowledging my truth. So. Through this process of healing physically from CFS, as I'm doing all that I can to support my body physically, and I'm well on the way, the road to recovery from where I used to be, bedbound and housebound, what I'm discovering is that as I work it, is first being aware of my feelings. This is a lot of nickel therapy, but um, has helped me a lot with this. Being aware of my feelings, accepting my feelings, acknowledging them. And um, that's been really huge. And then I'm learning to find uh, words to put that, you know, out there when I need to. So um, basically, I went through an experience where I was really hurt by someone, but I didn't say anything about it. I just let it go. And I thought, oh, who am I to say something? Or, you know, I just didn't feel like I should bother the person with it. And, um, but you know what happened? And I say this because I think a lot of CFSers are like this, is that we might go through hurts and rather than acknowledging it or uh, speaking directly to that person with it, uh, we allow it to, you know, get into a cycle for us. You know, we get this, uh, the maladaptive stress response pushes us into a lot of thoughts about things that are not helpful for us. And basically that's very toxic. So what I ended up having to do was speak my truth to this person I didn't want to speak my truth to. But I had to tell them what had happened and how it hurt me. And you know what was interesting about that is that even though I didn't get a response from that person, what did happen is it released a toxic load from me. Um, I think it was really impacting my recovery and it really just helped release that. I felt like I had this huge burden lifted off of me just by speaking my truth and standing because I stood up for myself and I advocated for myself. So I just want to encourage you to do that and I'm finding I'm doing that in all of my other relationships now. And it's a new way of being for me, but it's really good and it's really freeing. And I think it just really uh, enhances our recovery because um, the mind and body connection is so very powerful and, and I do know that CFS is a physical illness and it has physical symptoms and uh, physical things that need to be addressed. However, there's also um, emotional stress can really impact our recovery. So just want to encourage you, speak your truth. One more thing I want to add to this is, you know, as a Christian, I was always told, you forgive, you forgive, you know, just forgive. And that's what you're supposed to do. Well, there's also a lot of scriptures that talk about um, if someone has offended you to go to that person and tell them what they've done. Now, the underwriting thing is you're always going to forgive. And yet, so often, all the teaching I hear about this just totally skips over the whole thing about addressing the issue with the person. And it's an interesting, there's an Old Testament scripture that says, do not harbor anger in your heart with your neighbor, but speak frankly with your neighbor. And so I think that shows that we are to speak frankly with people. We are to say, you know, how their actions have impacted us. And I love that other saying is speak the truth in love. So that when you do have some hard stuff to say to someone, you say it gently and in love. And then you're freed up. You know, I've often heard that if you have unforgiveness or bitterness towards a person, you're actually chained to that person. So it's actually uh, for your benefit to let go of that. The prisoner that you set free is actually you. So anyway, hope that helps on your recovery path just to think about speaking your truth. Take care, warriors, and remember, life isn't over, it's starting again.